I hope for peace, of course. I have an illusionary idea that I think that when a leader, an Israeli leader, uh, comes, stands there, and says, we are responsible. We are responsible for all the people who died. But I think it's an illusionary idea. No, no leader will come and say that he, he's responsible and he's wrong. First of all, to find their place in life, to restore their self-esteem and to restore to them their civil civic rights as full citizens of the state of Israel because we have been convinced with what happened last October that we are not citizens, we are only inhabitants. That's how the government looked, looks at us. Arab Israelis, Palestinians, are considered as inhabitants of the country, not citizens of the, of the state and we are making a war amidst the members of the same family. So that's very serious and we are trying to help our Palestinian youth find themselves, define their identity and study seriously in order to secure a human future which so far has not been secured at all. When you understand that people who live in this country for many, many thousands of years, that is a shocking thing to recognize, because that it's not kind of some population that came here yesterday to form something. It's exceedingly deeply rooted people, right? And in my opinion, the choice that one has to make wherever one lives is to be together with the people of the land you live with. I live with the Palestinians, that's why my heart belongs to Palestinians, because that is the land that is the most important for me. The first step is to bring here equality and democracy. There is no any kind of need for some magic tricks. Magic tricks could help all right to make it even better afterwards. But as a first step, I would say it's equality and democracy. Give everyone right to vote. It's such a simple thing like in England, everybody has a right to vote, it seems to you obvious. But in our country, majority of non-Jews have no right to vote. So the moment it would be changed, the moment you, democracy would arrive here, I think our problems will be gone. I would say that the most important thing to understand the following thing, that that is a land of people with deepest roots in their own ground. That in a way, uh, the great mystery of faith, which is still somewhere living with you and with us and with all of us, has its roots here. And that's why the fight for the land of Palestine is a fight for the future of all the world. And that's why you come to the most important thing, that is interconnection that, and interdependence. That if you support the good forces in Palestine, it's something that will make a lot of good for you, for your souls, and for your own future.
I will study medicine. Yeah. Because I uh, I will show this field because I want to help people. Yeah. This is the uh, my wish. I or my hope to help uh, people because we live in uh, difficult conditions. We, we, in general, we want peace, we want to live in quiet, we want to have peace of mind, you know. Just to, you know, living here is really great, really nice. But uh, we are not quiet. We want just to have peace of mind and to go on with living here because we enjoy it, we love it. Peace and peace of mind. Well, Asil was one of our students. He was a brilliant student. He was brilliant and a peace-loving young man. A Muslim young man whom we have chosen to represent the college in this organization so-called Seeds for Peace. So he was a, he was a seed for peace and we sent him several times to the U.S. to meet then with Hillary Clinton, with congressmen, with senators, to speak with them, to plead with them, to do everything that peace and justice be done between the Palestinians and the Israelis. And this group of Seeds for Peace was jointly Jewish and Palestinian Arabs, Christians and Muslims. He had so many Jewish friends, boys and girls, who really admired him. He was a star in the school for his outcoming expression about peace and uh, tolerance. And in October last year, the 2nd of October, he left the school, went home, and he was sitting under, the oli under an olive tree when the soldiers rushed on him, beat him with the, the back of their machine guns, and shot him dead in the neck and in the stomach from no distance whatsoever. Uh, we used to tell the story nobody wanted to believe in us. He was not throwing stones. He was not making anything but sitting under the olive tree watching what is happening on the streets. We have a small memorial for his memory in the school where students can light candles. During the past school, scholastic year, the whole year during, his seat was empty and his classmates would put new flowers every day on his seat. And during the graduation party, he had a seat. He was supposed to graduate. His picture was on the seat. And the director general of Marlias took his diploma and deposed it on, the, on his seat. And all that was so emotional, so traumatizing, and also uh, a very strong shock to many of our students who have seen the soldiers and the police firing life ammunition on people who have nothing to do with the Intifada. The people in Galilee were protesting against social injustices and for equality with the Jewish citizens of Israel. Asil will stay always in our mind, our love, our affection, our memory. He is one of those martyrs whom the other side would label terrorists. But he was a peace-loving man.
It's not a question of taking help from you, young people in England. It's a question of exchanging help. We can give you a lot. We are expecting a lot from you. The first thing, we invite you to be ready to get to know who we are. And that's not only by the, from the media or from lobbyists who are specialized in stereotype, stereotyping the poor, the oppressed, the marginalized, but through uh, direct contact with us. And we would, like, we would love to see you, young people from England, coming and staying with us at Marlias College and getting to know the reality about Palestinian Christians and Muslims and the other reality, which is that we are in this college living together, Christians, Muslims, Druze and Jewish people, without any discrimination. We share the fears, we share the hopes of our own people. I have been privileged to start this project, to build it with others, surely, and to develop it from nothing, from 82 students to 4,500. So that's a nice thing that has been done. As you know, Marlias is a multicultural uh, school. The people, students uh, in Marlias come from all around the villages around. And this situation builds a multicultural society, a small one. Like people, there are people that with different ideas, with different backgrounds. So I think that uh, this this experience, the three years experience that I spent it in my years, uh, had affected a lot of my character. Like I imagine if I went to another school, I wouldn't uh, have the same character that I have now. Because I feel like in the, my roots, uh, Marias put a root for me, a good root. Uh, and it's uh, to accept other societies, to learn from other societies, not to attack other societies. Because the, the fact that they are different from us, it's not that we, they are worse or better, they're just different. They come from different backgrounds. So, in order, again, in order to live in peace, and I should accept them. That's, I think, the present that Marlias gave me. Because it affected my life a lot. I feel ready, ready. I feel I have the power to, in order to meet anyone, to stand in front of anyone, not because he's different, I don't care if he's different from me. I have one sister and uh, two brothers, two little brothers. Uh, my sister in uh, 11th grade, yeah, she is uh, studying here in Marlias College. Um, and my brothers, um, one of them in the 5th grade and the other in the 4th grade. Uh, Marlias College teach me uh, how to, to build and to make a good relationships with different uh, pupils and teach me how to be brave, yeah, to, uh, to do what I want yeah, and to say what I have to say without uh, being afraid. Excellent college, yeah. We have uh, good friends, good teachers. Uh, I, I feel that uh, Marlias College is my second home, yeah. Uh, I, my, friend, my classmates, uh, feel um, a one fam like a family. It's a very, very, very beautiful place. Everyone who works here works with love, works from the heart, and that's the main thing here, you know, love and unity. And I can't ask for more than that. I believe in God, so spiritually I, I feel like closer to God here, you know, because it's right, the Holy Land, the unity of all, all religions.
not just Christians, Jews and Muslims. This is the land of unity. So it's uh, ironic what's happening here, but it's about unity. I learned that in order to, to live peacefully with other kind of people, I'm supposed to share with them. Uh, I'm supposed to respect their ideas, even if they were different from mine. Uh, I'm supposed to take things easy, not personal. I don't know, but uh, I still dream and still think that we, uh, that I will um, uh, live um, uh, a relaxed life. Yeah, I still dream. I thank you. You must have democracy. Give a right of vote to non-Jews as much as you give right of vote to the Jews. If you think that Jews should be equal in England, let non-Jews be equal to Jews in the Holy Land. That would be the first thing. And obviously not to be afraid at all. Stand tall, not to be afraid. I'm staying here with all the problems, with all the troubles, I'm staying here and I'm fighting for my right to live here. Because I, I, say, I, I said it before, it's really nice living here, just we need peace of mind, that's it. That's all we need. My real dream, I might say the only dream in which all the others are evolving is to see Israel and Palestine both independent, both self-reliant and both interdependent on each other so that not only peace might come but also and first of all and above and before peace justice be done where there be no refugee anymore, no deportee, but where we will cultivate the culture of a human society for human beings. It's not enough to uh, abstain from doing evil. The big sin is when you can do good and you don't do it. Yeah. When you can share and you don't share when you can show compassion and you don't. I think they have to, to try to get to know us more, to try to know the real facts about us, try to get to know us, because we are uh, usual people, we are normal people, we're the same, we're students, we go to colleges, we graduate, we have jobs, families, so they have to know the real us you know, from inside and hopefully we'll do too. I invite them to, to try our, uh, our life here. Uh, we are okay, but it's difficult. We have uh, bad conditions. Uh, we don't, um, we are not free. We are always afraid. Yeah. We are not, uh, comfortable or be afraid to visit a public places. We don't have the, the same uh, rights. Yeah. We should study. It's the, the right way to fulfill our uh, dreams. I wish that everyone can hear uh, this little voice. Yeah.